a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes in the heart and so is justified, and one confesses with the mouth and so is saved. The scripture says, No one who believes in him will be put to shame. There is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, enriching all who call upon him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But how can they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how can they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone to preach? And how can, they, can people preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. But not everyone has heeded the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what was heard from us? Thus faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes to the word of Christ. But I ask, did they not hear? Certainly they did, for their voice has gone forth to all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Son, the judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them just. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Response. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them just. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Response. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them just. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Response, the judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them just. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter all than syrup or honey from the comb. Response, the judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them just. Come after me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who he is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left the nets and found him. He walked along from there and saw two bro other brothers, James the son of Zebedee and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. He called them, 
and immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Andrew, Apostle, and yesterday we reflect on one of the attitudes of us waiting the beginning of Advent. Advent is coming, and us on our side waiting. And for one of the attitudes of waiting on, on us and ourselves is to be always focused on the Lord wherever we are. To be faithful in our responsibilities wherever we are. What our what are our responsibilities wherever we are. And so in our gospel today, for the feast of St. Andrew, it is clear that the Lord comes in an unexpected time while they were fishing. While they were fishing, Simon Peter and Andrew, James the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, in the midst of their work, in the midst of their livelihood, in the midst of their role in life, the Lord comes. And so this is our continued reflection and God's invitation for us to be always be alert and aware everywhere we are that God may come and call us. And here the Lord called them in the midst of their livelihood, in the midst of their work in life, in the midst of their responsibility in life. And the response, they followed him. And so also for us, as we as we live our lives, our responsibilities in lives, we must also be always be alert and ready to follow the Lord. And here in the ordinary lives of life, in the very ordinary people, the Lord called them to attitudes, to action words, casting their nets for the first two brothers, Simon and Andrew, second set of brothers James and John, mending their nets, casting their nets to gather for the Lord and mending their nets to heal, to guide, to heal, to amen. And so this is our also our attitude as we go, as we follow the Lord in our daily lives, to gather others for the Lord and to mend broken relationships, to mend broken goals and friendships and successes in life. And we ask today's intercession, the intercession of St. Andrew Apostle, to preach, to be sent. In the first reading, St. Paul said, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the word. This is our always mission in life, baptized Christians, to preach, to preach Christ in our daily lives. Amen.